Less than a half hour, UNM students and faculty will join together for a campus safety walk. They'll be trying to identify potentially dangerous areas on the campus. Now, this comes a week and a half after a student was stabbed in the neck by a man who's still on the loose. News 13's Maria Medina is live at UNM. Maria? And this is the sketch of the stabbing suspect. He's still out there. And tonight, the question is, how can UNM make its campus safer? Uh, someone got stabbed in the neck here at the anthropology building. This is all UNM police have to go on, a sketch of the man who stabbed a student in her neck, then took off with her cell phone. We're beefing up security all over campus. UNM police say they're following up leads, but wouldn't say whether they focused on a suspect. Tonight, nearly 200 students and faculty members organized a campus safety walk to try and prevent another crime like last week's. Definitely a good idea, I'd say. But the walk tonight isn't just to remind students about how to be safe on campus. Is the lighting in the right place? Is there enough lighting? Eliseo Torres, vice president for UNM Student Affairs, organized the walk. I was concerned. Torres plans to split participants into groups to hit every area of the main campus with a checklist in hand. They'll look for places that need safety improvements, like places where someone could be lurking or where there's poor lighting, like the anthropology building where the student was stabbed. Is it pretty dark in that area? Um, for the most part. Was this an accident or was this intentional? No, no, she was, uh, she said that she was mugged. Torres says this is just the beginning of safety improvements at the university. And I hope that never happens again on this campus. And they'll meet at Saggio's in the Student Union Building at 6, so there's still time if you want to join. The walk should take about an hour. As far as the student who was stabbed, we're told she's doing okay. Back to you. All right, Maria, and university officials say they will respond to the safety recommendations developed tonight within 30 days.